Hey, what's going on, basketball fans? This is Long Shot Fizen, and this is one on one with me, NBA Updates. Today, I want to talk about the trade that happened yesterday between the Celtics, Warriors, and the Heat, and also I will answer a fan question. So, let me get right into the trade. Warriors getting Jordan Crawford and Marshawn Brooks. Jordan Crawford is ex exactly what they needed. They needed some ba uh, backcourt help, and they got it now with Jordan Crawford. He was playing terrific for the Celtics. He was scoring, he was running the offense, uh, getting assists. Exactly what the Warriors need. I think he'll fit right in. And Marshawn Brooks, I don't think the Warriors will really use him. But if they do, he's another scoring option off the bench. Now moving on to the Heat. With this trade, they saved $10 million. Joel Anthony had $3.8 million contract. He had a player option for next season. The Heat knew he was going to take that option. So it's best that they trade him. And that gives them cap flexibility to sign the, uh, the big three next season. And then Celtics, they get Joel Anthony plus two draft picks. One of the draft picks is a second round pick that came from Miami. And the other one is a first round uh, draft pick that came from the Sixers. It's a protected draft pick. Uh, it's lottery protected. Meaning, if the Sixers make it to the playoffs, then the Celtics will get that pick. If they don't, the Celtics won't get that draft pick. And it's protected for next season as well. So if the Sixers don't make it to the playoffs for both seasons, this season and next season, Celtics will not get that draft pick. And in the third se season, that first round draft pick becomes two second round draft picks. So for the Celtics, they pretty much collected draft picks during this trade. But what I think is, Celtics, they could have sold Jordan Crawford for a higher price. I think they sold him for a very low price. Crawford was playing well. They could have gotten a lot more out of the deal. But instead, they struck this deal and collected three draft picks pretty much. I, think, I don't think the Sixers will make it to the playoffs anytime soon. So I think eventually that first round draft pick is going to turn into two second round draft picks. So, I think Warriors are the ones who won in this deal because Jordan Crawford will help them immediately. They needed that help. They need that backcourt help. Tony Douglas wasn't giving it to them. But Jordan Crawford, he definitely will help that bench with his scoring and playmaking skills. As for the Heat, like I said again, one thing, one thing that's good for the Heat is that they save money, which is excellent because they want to bring the, uh, the big three back next season. And that's the only way they made a bargain off this deal because Tony Douglas... I don't think he has a future in that team. I think he might get waived soon. The Heat haven't ha uh, said anything about that yet, but I think Douglas will get waived. So now let's move on to the fan question. Rance Reginald, he asks, who is your all-time starting five? Well, first of all, point guard, I'm going with Magic Johnson, of course. Shooting guard, Michael Jordan, without doubt. Small forward, LeBron James. I'm putting him ahead of Larry Bird now. I think LeBron deserves it. He's won uh, multiple MVPs, rings. I think he's getting up there. His, his career is not done yet, so LeBron James is my small forward. Power forward, my all-time favorite, Tim Duncan. And then center, it was a tough one, but in the end, I decided to go with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And there you have it. That's my all-time starting five. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching.